Okay, Peering Implants is a collaboration of private healthcare professionals who specialize in implantable hearing solutions. This group of individuals are composed of ear, nose and throat surgeons, audiologists, speech therapists and psychologists. The aim of Cape Hearing Implants is really to give people who otherwise would not have access to hearing that gift of hearing. And this is only possible for us through donations and contributions. Like in the case of Kamu, we were lucky to receive a donation from two cyclists, Rene Hasselberger and Robbie Hunter. They spend a lot of their time and effort through their cycling to make donations to companies like Cape Hearing Implants to help children like Kamu. Kamu is really an amazing eight-year-old boy and he was sadly diagnosed with a bilateral a moderate to profound asymmetrical hearing loss. After following his diagnosis, he was referred to the Coral Toy Centre for intervention, and this, it's where we fitted him with hearing aids. And although he loved his hearing aids and he reported benefit, further testing indicated that it's really not giving him adequate access to sound for learning. So he was subsequently referred for a cochlear implant evaluation, which is again a multidisciplinary process. So he was seen by Dr. Gary Kraukamp for ENT and medical um, assessments. He was also seen by a social worker, an audiologist um, and a speech language therapist. Kamu was considered an excellent candidate for a cochlear implant. Unfortunately, um, he was on a medical aid that did not provide benefit for cochlear implantation. He somehow started to lose his speech. He was uh, 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 regressing instead of progressing. Um, he started to lose his confidence when he was playing with his peers, you know. He, he's outspoken, man. He liked to go outside and play. He started now to be lonely, stay at home, don't want to play with his friends. Kamu suddenly stopped responding to his name being called. He couldn't hear the school transports hooter anymore. He would put the television on but put it on mute. Um, and sadly, there was also a lot of fighting when he was interacting with friends because he couldn't really follow conversation or hear his friends. And on top of all of this, he really started to struggle tremendously at school. Kamo needed a CI or cochlear implant because he has progressive hearing loss and he's had hearing aids for quite a while, but they're no longer able to cope with his level of hearing. So the only way of providing him with sound and hearing is with a cochlear implant at this stage. It was an easy choice to select Kamo. Not that everybody is not deserving. Everybody is deserving to have access to hearing. But Kamu was our choice for this particular donation because of the intelligent, very inquisitive, vibrant little boy that he is. The family of the person receiving a cochlear implant plays a vital role in the successful outcome of the implant, especially with children. I always say to parents that a cochlear implant is not a magic wand. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication from everybody involved. I almost want to say that the speech therapist is the most important person in the whole process, even more important than the doctor and the audiologist. But the parents must be willing to take the child for the speech therapy, they must be able to follow through at home, and then they must also be willing to take the child to a school where they have access to the necessary support. Having a cochlear implant is really a lifelong journey and patients will be under management for the rest of their lives and, and the main thing an audiologist will do is really to help set the programming and make sure the levels of stimulation is adequate for that patient to have access to sound. Um, but moreover, it is really important to mention that the cochlear implant delivers an electrical signal, an electrical sound, and that the brain of the patient is not used to that sound um, when it once receives it. So there's really a very intense and a very critical period of auditory training after activation. Um, and that is really the process where the brain needs to understand, identify, discriminate what these sounds that is now suddenly hearing 
What does this all mean? Kamo initially will get good access to sound with his cochlear implant, and as his brain learns to integrate that new, slightly artificial sound, he will hear better and better, and he should hear to a normal volume. So you might call it normal hearing in that sense, although it's artificial. And he should be able to hear to the same degree as a normal hearing child using that cochlear implant. Look, I was small. What's that? Kamu. <laughs> I've seen babies born with a profound hearing loss that acquire spoken language, go to a mainstream school, later to university, qualifying as architects and microbiologists, farmers, basically anything they set their mind to. And then there's also the older population, the older children and the adults who lost their hearing later on in life due to maybe taking ototoxic medication for something like NDR-TB or uh, viral infection. And the excitement when they can hear again after being in a silent world for months and sometimes even words is just more than I can put into words. Yeah, seeing a, a teenage boy talking to his dad over the phone for the first time and being able to follow the conversation and being able to go back to school and interact with his peers like before or an adult returning to his career all because of a cochlear implant is just the most exciting thing. What? Oh, <laughs> a cochlear implant can open up a world that would otherwise not be accessible to children and adults with a severe to profound hearing loss. And I'm just truly blessed to be part of this miracle. Now that he has a cochlear implant, he has access to sound, and through that he can be the boy that he is really capable of being. Today, I can't even explain. It's overwhelming. I'm happy, mixed emotions. I'm grateful, I'm thankful. And at least he can be able to do better now at school because his education, I was more worried about his education. But now that he'll be able to have sound to hear, at least his life will be able to move on. My wish for Kamu is that he can now live a fulfilled life where he is not hindered by hearing loss in any way and that he can reach his full potential. I have a lot of faith that when we look back on this day, a few years from now, we will see a very different little boy. Of the available cochlear implant systems available in South Africa, Cape Hearing Implants selected a Medal cochlear implant for camo. Not only is Medal a cost-effective implant, it delivers superior sound quality. The delicate electrode array preserves any hearing that can still be utilized. Given the long length of the electrodes, the full length of the cochlea can be used. Safety is of the utmost importance. With Medal cochlea implant systems, MRI imaging up to three Tesla can be performed without the surgical removal of the magnet. 